love collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are appreciated i return to source i return to sender all negative energy and intent immediately and permanently um all in all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you and your loved ones are being dismantled as we speak I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness, and many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light. So I am super duper excited to be doing this read. This is my yearly read that I give you a glimpse of what you can expect in the upcoming lunar year. Happy New Year's to everyone. Um, so this is going to be a general read for everyone to just have some type of glimpse into what you can expect for the next upcoming months the next 12 months okay i'm looking forward to this hopefully we have some positive news and things like that but let's go ahead and get started so in the month of march you can expect to be either going to a lot of social events or you may end up going to some type of social event that is going to change your life you may end up meeting maybe a partner a business partner maybe collaborating with a lot of different people some of you are going to be connecting with your soul tribe member just forming new friendships and things like that someone may want Want to extend their bounty with you as far as friendship someone may want to extend friendship to you you know have some type of collaboration with you um but it's going to be absolutely an amazing month for you you are being told to be cautious as well with the people you are expecting friendships or accepting friendships from you don't want to jump too quickly into a friendship whether it be pro, uh, platonic have whether it just be of platonic nature or something that has another uh, motive behind it, like you had some type of romantic interest or the person has romantic interest in you, just be a little bit cautious. Take time to get to know the person that you are getting in alignment with. Overall, I do see a lot of positive friendships and bonds being formed, um, but I always advise caution on how you proceed with people, right? Um, so anyway, so in the month of March, if you are someone who is like a chronic introvert like myself, you like to stay home, you may find yourself going out a little bit more, uh, being invited to, to different outings, different social events. You may, some of you may end up at social events where it's like upper class, where, you know, they do... <laughs> They had their little pinkies up and stuff, drinking tea. You know, you're about to be like drinking tea, maybe with the queen or something like that. I'm just being bougie right now. Just being extra. Just disregard me. But you're, some of you are going to be going to some really exquisite, higher social class uh, events and things like that. And you may not be expecting this. Some of you may end up at maybe like a party, maybe a wedding or something where you meet your you know, your, your divine counterpart or whoever you're supposed to be with at this time in your life. So you're going to be forming a lot of new bonds, a lot of new friendship, or the real and true friendships that you need in your life, okay? So you're going through some type of change. If you have been in this period where you've kind of been by yourself or just in like some type of stagnation, you are absolutely coming out of that in March. Things are going to be a little bit more bountiful for you in a lot of different departments. Um, you may be reaping your harvest for something that you've put a lot of work into and things of that nature. Be very protective of your harvest as well. If you receive some type of promotion some type of uh, financial assistance in some way whatever it is that you receive be sure to not be too out there with it okay if you want to give to people that's absolutely fine but when you give what you can afford to give don't over give don't over extend yourself to people okay but march is looking absolutely fantabulous for you as i like to say you're going to be having a lot of good time getting out a little bit more you may be getting out of your shell and things like that if you are someone that's shy you may form a new friendship or bond where someone is going to be encouraging you to step out a little bit more come out of your shell come on the water is fine right so someone is going to be trying to get you out of your shell out of your element but not in a bad way they just want you to live a little let loose a little right uh, maybe sip a little bit of this sip a little bit of that but there's no ulterior motive behind what they're doing they just want to see you living it up a little bit more living it up in the city i guess okay so absolutely march is going to be full of abundance we are encouraging you to maintain a positive mindset as well live in expectation from the universe in the month of march well always not just in march but always live in expectation right and of 
course, when the universe gives to you, be sure to give gratitude, show gratitude, say thank you, right? And appreciate what it is they're giving to you, no matter how small, no matter how big. Okay, so that is the mindset and that is what you can expect in March. A lot of bounty, a lot of celebration, a lot of joy, friendship, getting together, things of that nature. Now, we are moving to April. So in April, you want to be a little bit cautious with the bonds that you are forming and the business relationships that you are forming. Okay, so it looks like there could be some type of this harmony going on in these places. Some of you, this has to do with love and some of you, this has to do with business. Be cautious of the person you end up forming some type of relationship with or if you are expecting to get in some type of relationship with someone, this may not be the right time to do it. Someone may still be needing to heal. So if you two get together at the wrong time, this is going to hinder the relationship from blossoming into what it's supposed to blossom into. So do not rush into anything, okay? be very cautious thread with caution is what you are being told in uh in april okay i was about to say february because you know we are so programmed to use that judeo christian calendar that's been given to us that roman calendar so i have to keep reminding myself as well that we're going march april may june july i feel like i should have made some type of sticky dough to stick on these just so i don't forget but if i said the wrong month bear with me i'm just as programmed as you are yourself in certain things so i'm still trying my best to get out of that uh program that matrix um so just bear with me but absolutely if it's a relationship be cautious don't jump into any relationships in uh april um take time to get to know the person you know if you don't if you know 100 percent, you don't know yourself yet take time to get to know yourself before jumping into any relationship you don't want to jump into a relationship with the wrong person and it end up taking advantage of you it turns into some type of a, a toxic situation and things like that and then you two don't really commit the time, put in the effort that the relationship needs so that it can thrive. And then you two end up walking away. For someone, the person you're supposed to be connecting with, this is a very big fear of theirs because they are coming out of some type of toxic union. Um, and they want to connect with you, but they are afraid that it's not going to work out, that you're going to leave because this person still has a lot of healing that they need to do. Someone is not quite uh there yeah when it comes to making decisions for themselves and things like that and we're not here to judge them we all go through this period in our life i went through it as well i'm sure pretty sure a lot of you went through it and some of you are still going through it it's a learning progress for every one of us okay we're just all at different stages of the healing process and on different at different stages in this thing called life right um as far as business if you have business concerns or you're starting a new business or you already have a business that's going on thread with caution with as far as collaborating with other businesses because they may not have the same intentions as you do um where you may want to do the right thing operate on principle morals and ethics there could be a company that you end up partnering up with that do not have the same intentions or same values as you so publicly they may act like they do but behind the scenes they don't and if you partner up with this company it's going to lead to a huge failure for you you may end up you know investing a lot of time and resources into a partnership that's just not going to be leading to anything right and there's going to be a lot of internal fighting as well between you and this company and even in the relationship there's going to be a lot of fighting if you all don't thread with caution so in april you are being told to thread with caution Whatever new reality you are trying to manifest, whether it be with a partner or with another entity, thread with caution. Don't rush into anything. Um, I will advise that you take time as the business owners or entrepreneurs. Take time to nurture your business yourself. Keep pouring into your business yourself. You, as a business owner or entrepreneur, you will always know the right time to branch out venture out and partner up with other people and this is if you are as committed to your business as you should be people technically will go left when they are not as committed to their companies so they'll be really eager to form partnerships with people and oftentimes they'll end up forming the wrong partnerships with other entities and it's usually because oh this company is so huge you know it will be a great thing for me to partner up with them it does not matter how large a company is 
if their values do not align with yours do not partner up with them okay it's not always about the money it's about the service you are providing to people and what that service is doing for them so please keep that in mind in april do not rush into anything in, in order to avoid conflict or to just minimize the amount of conflict that you end up experiencing okay in may some of you could be traveling a lot or you could have some type of big trip maybe going on vacation or something someone may be wanting to invite you on a trip be cautious i would say because this person um they may have some type of interest in you whether it's genuine or ulterior motive there could be some type of interest but someone could be coming towards you as well right um to maybe get to know you uh just establish something with you they may have interest in working with you forming some type of partnership with you someone knows that you are extremely abundant and things like that um spiritually naturally this person could have a lot of finances available to, to them a lot of resources as well because of their background this could be like someone that's successful in business and they want to work with you so they could be traveling this person could be going through some type of heartbreak at the moment um and this is something that they know they could not avoid voice so this is something they expected to happen eventually so someone is going through some type of heartbreak um but even though they are going through a heartbreak someone is still doing the work to heal so this is why they are coming towards you is to make sure that when they come towards you they have put in that work to heal as well or you'll understand that they are still putting in work putting in the effort to heal and be the best version of themselves. But they want you to know that they do want to work with you. They do want to collaborate with you, whether it be romantic or in business, they do want to give to you. Someone wants to, I just hear her restore. Someone wants to restore some type of either relationship, friendship, bond, business, something like that with you. Um, and they want you to know that they don't have any ulterior motive. They're leaving toxicity behind them and they do want to have a genuine friendship with you. Um, I always just advise to be cautious of the interactions we have with people so you can make sure that they don't have any ulterior motive because sometimes people will tell you oh i will never do this to you i will never do that to you but they will always be they will sometimes not always they will sometimes be the ones that turn out to be the worst company you ever got involved with as far as a person or even just an organization so just thread with caution you could be the one doing uh, going on a trip as well um but i see that before you or this person go on the trip you're going to make sure that all of your financial obligations your uh uh, uh everyday obligations whether it has to do with family uh just bills responsibilities are going to be taken care of before you go on this trip just so you make sure when you come back there are no re there are no like surprises and things waiting for you um uh, so this uh month of april is going to be may lord have mercy i'm telling you <laughs> this month of may upcoming may is going to be like eye opening for you this could be someone as well that you don't even expect to want to have uh some type of connection with you it's going to be really surprising for you you're going to be like what you want to work with me you're interested in me what yes collective they are interested in you someone sees you as very genuine they know that you are someone very authentic and they know for some of you that you are gifted and they like that fact effect about you someone sees you as eccentric and they want to you know experience a little bit more of your energy in person which is why they're coming out to you so again it looks like in may you're going to be making some type of new connection or restoring some type of bond that you had with someone in the past they are a little bit uh, uh hesitant to come towards you but they will be taking them making that move to come towards you okay oh that's a whole lot that's a whole lot but that, let's keep going okay now we are in june so in june you are being told to be a little bit more practical okay um family is going to be really essential to you being down to earth making sure you're talking to people telling them exactly what you expect if you are a business owner 
make sure you tell them this is what I expect, when I expect it, how I expect it, so that your business is not experiencing any loss and things of that nature. Some of you could be connecting with a king of pentacles, whether this is a feminine energy or a masculine energy. You're going to be connecting with someone uh, that's very successful in business. You are going to be, from what I just heard, you're going to be protecting this person in some way, shape, or form. So you may come from a more humble background and this person comes from a more successful background. This is someone self-made, so this is not someone who like money was handed to them. They didn't have like a trust fund or something. This is someone that worked their way up in life. So every penny they have, they gone they, they gain out of that by the, their own hands, right? So you're going to be extremely protective of this person. This is one of your main reasons of being put in this person's life, right? Um, because as down to earth as this person is going to be and as kind and nurturing as they are, this is someone that can be easily taken advantage of. So when you two get together, you're going to be the one that will tell them, hey, think about this first before you give this to this person. Think about this first before you pay for that service or pay for that thing, whatever it is, because you are going to want to make sure that this person is not being taken advantage of because it's very easy for these people, these types of people, to be taken advantage of some of you in the month of june you will be achieving some type of financial abundance financial stability if your finances have been out of whack you can expect for some type of balance to be brought into the situation in june so you may be receiving some type of promotion at work some type of check your business could be taken off you could go viral on social media something is going to be coming into balance for you where you'll be able to live in your little bougie life or something like that Okay, so you have success coming in, uh, a lot of security. Uh, so if you're struggling with security right now or your stability and things like that, uh, by June, everything should be back into balance. Uh, you should be back to what you used to be or you should be you should start getting acclimated to this new bougie you, okay? Everything is going to be just a-okay. It just looks like your, your year is going through quite a tumultuous time, but it's not as tumultuous like in a negative way. It's just like an eye-opening experience for you so far, um, and it's going to be happening so like quickly. It's going to be something that may like just shock you. You're like, what in the world is going on? Like, I didn't expect for things to like just take off like that right but absolutely it's going to take off for you if you end up partnering up with a king of pentacles it is going to be successful but you two will have to be patient with one another um because you two could be set in your ways the king of pentacles are people that are kind of hard to deter from the way they do things so you'll have to be patient with this person is what i am a, um hearing right excuse me i lost my train of thought there but this person is absolutely reliable this is a long-term partner that you can expect to be around for a long time whether this is in a business french a business collaboration or just some type of romantic interest this is someone you can expect to be around for a long time because loyalty is very important to these people like they are loyal to the detriment of themselves and they want to make sure you want to make sure that you are not taking advantage of this person People like these are kind of like your babies. If you are someone genuine, you'll see them like your baby. You say, you know what? You better not touch that person. I will cut your little hand up because you just know people will be malicious to try to take advantage of these types of people. Sometimes they'll come across as being very assertive and things like that. But if you have spiritual eyes, your, if your spiritual eye is open, you'll know that this person, they need a little bit more help than they are letting on. So you're being put in their life to kind of look after them, look out for them so that people are not stealing from them and taking advantage of them. So March is going to be, uh, March, where did March come from, honey? We are in June, Cynthia. Get your mind together, my sister. Wake up. Chai. Anyways, so in June, you're going to be experiencing a lot of success, a lot of bountiful, you know, uh, um, euphoric experiences going on. You're going to be experiencing a, a, a stability, you know, security, like everything you've been praying and hoping for, you've been working for, is what's going to be happening for you in June. So I'm excited for you all. Yes. 
Okay, so we are moving to July. You're gonna have a lot of emotions running, but this is positive. These are positive emotions and things like that. Um, people are going to be seeing you in a better and honest light. Maybe other people have some type of clouded judgment about you um, in the past, but they're going to be seeing you in your true light. They're gonna see you as someone genuine. People may want to reconnect with you. So you may end up receiving a lot of messages from people from the past and things like that or even new people you may be connecting with a lot of you know maybe your soul tribe members and things like that just to kind of form this new community of your own where you all can be open with one another support one another in a very genuine way with no ulterior motives and things like that but you're going to be having a lot of sentimental moments with people that you know and don't know but be careful um with people from your past um because these are people that may not have done the healing work like you did so you don't want them to come and then end up getting you off track and you have to you know start all over again so um i don't know i don't i'm not someone that usually advise people to go back to the past i'm while we're moving, I don't hold like any type of bitterness in my heart for people or any type of spiteful energy for people. But I'm just someone that's so focused on moving forward. You would think like I don't like you or something, but it's not that I don't like you. I just don't like going backwards. I prefer to go forward. So that is the message I technically tend to preach on my platforms is that be forward moving, forgive the past and be forward moving, right? So you're going to be receiving a lot of positive news, messages, support and things like that in July. Um, and this is something that's much needed. You could be embracing a different side of yourself if this is something you are not quite comfortable with yet. I think by July, you should be a little bit more open to that side of you and it has to do with your spirituality some of you are on journeys where you're a little bit new to spirituality and you don't want to like just go all out with it you're a little bit hesitant because you're still at that stage where you care what people think of you um where people are like uh what the heck is she doing why is she saying that why do you have crystals in your hand in your pocket in your purse and things like that but in july you're going to be coming by july let me say you're going to be coming out of that energy. You're going to be embracing yourself a little bit more. You're going to come out as eccentric as you are, you know, as different as you are, as weird as you are. And you don't, you're going to stop caring what the world thinks about you. And that's absolutely beautiful. Um, you're being advised to look at things with detail. Look at the fine print. So if anyone presents any contract to you, be sure to read the fine print, right? Um, do not just sign anything and think that because someone is smiling with you or because you've known them for 10 years, 20 years, or however many years, do not assume that they have your best interest at heart. Be diligent. Read the fine print, okay? If you don't understand a terminology in their contract or wherever it is, read the contract and look up those terminologies to find the definition for some of you it's best for you to take whatever contract that's been given to you to a lawyer someone professional so they can read it and best advise you on how to move forward and let you know hey yes you can sign this contract or absolutely not you cannot sign this contract this is going to be a trap for you so just you know be cautious in that way okay but don't hide yourself in Mar uh in july do not hide yourself live in your truth accept yourself for who you are being called weird is an absolute compliment that when when the word weird initially started being used that was a word that just meant that you were someone that was in charge of your own path. You lived to your to the beat of your own drum, right? People, you didn't live like everybody else, right? Yeah, that's kind of what that means, that you are in control of your own path and your own destiny. So if people tell you you're weird, you absolutely need to say thank you. That is a compliment, okay? So July is looking abundant and promising for you as well. You are going to be making sure that you are focused on the things that matter to you. Um, do not let anyone stray you off of your path. People may try to uh, uh, distract you with the fact that I'm hearing the word focused and things like that. People may be trying to distract you so that you can fall off your path, fall behind, not achieve some type of abundance that's due to you and things like that. Uh, so just stay focused, stay on track, 
Don't let anything distract you, okay? Live in your authenticity. People see you for who they, who you are. You are true. You are honest. You are embracing a different aspect of yourself. Uh, you are someone people want to have on their side because they know they can be genuine with you. People like this, people know they can open up to you. You have a youthful, youthful energy about yourself, but they know they can trust you because you are someone sincere, someone genuine, and things of that nature, okay? So that is it for July. Absolutely beautiful month. You can expect a lot of beautiful things. It looks like the year is just absolutely going to be amazing for a lot of you. And I'm encouraging you to maintain a positive mindset, positive outlook on life, regardless of what's going on around you. So you can manifest uh, abundance into your life, uh, happiness, joy, and bliss uh, into your life, okay? Uh, so we are going to be moving to August, and it is looking spectacular, okay? By August, you're, you're going to reap your full harvest, right? We have the Empress out here. Then. The Empress is someone that is absolutely abundant. So by August, you can expect to be as abundant as your year is going to be, okay? Uh, some of you could be having babies, starting new families, um, and you are going to be very particular about your family, very protective of your family. A lot of you are, of course, family-oriented, as natural to say when the Empress shows up, um, but you can expect for things to be going in your favor. You know how to manifest things by this uh, stage of your life. So you're going to be manifesting a lot of bounty into your life because you've put in that work, right? So just absolutely, all I'm going to say in say about August is that it's going to be a beautiful month for you. Uh, just be cautious, however, about the people around you because they're the ones we always have to worry about. We already know who we are, what our intentions are, but we never know who uh, what other people uh, intend are around us. Make sure people are not taking advantage of you, all right? You may be meeting a soulmate. You may be forming some type of really special bond um, by August with someone new or maybe uh, reestablishing an old relationship or friendship and things like that. But August is just going to be a beautiful month for you. You could be starting a new business or your business is going to be taken off by August. You have a lot of promise see things going on you some of you could be like taking new paths in life um you know just standing a little bit more firmer in your majestic energy and things like that some of you you know you are very uh, a divine but the way you present yourself you are a little shy you don't step out with boldness but in, if you're working on yourself and going through this healing journey and things like that by August, you will be walking out here like I wish a mother ever would, but you're going to be very calm and tactful. People will know not to try you. They'll see you sitting on your throne and say something about this heifer lets me know that I should not try him. I should not try her. Okay. You have that calm persona about you by August or this is just you naturally and people know not to try you. You are someone absolutely very logical and strategic about how you handle problems. You handle them one at a time. And if this is not you, this is what you are being advised to do is to absolutely tackle your problems one at a time. Do not, and I repeat, do not avoid your problems because as abundant as you're going to be in life, we will always have some type of problem, okay? So when they come up, do not put them up on the back burner. Uh, uh, face them one at a time, right? Uh, uh, address them one at a time instead of, you know, dis disregarding them and then they're just piling up like, you know, madness. So absolutely make sure that you are addressing the problems that come up, okay? Um... You may have to, you know, bring that little bit of a, that lioness that's within the tiger, wherever roaring animal is within you, you may have to bring it up at some point in August just so people know not to try you. But overall, August is looking like a beautiful uh, 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 um, month for you. You've learned how to balance your emotions. You know how to let go of things and people that no longer serve you. And that's what you are being advised to keep doing in August. So the first six months of the upcoming year, I am just really happy for all of you. Absolutely spectacular. Just beautiful. Okay. Just beautiful. Anyways, let's get to September. 
absolutely. So in September, you are going to be, you know, having some type of financial success, but there is that but. Someone, either you or this person could be a little bit very much financially cautious. Someone could be going through some type of ending, so you're being advised to be a little cautious. Oh, in September, okay? There's some type of financial move or some type of move you are being advised not to make. This may have to do with you partnering up with the wrong person in April. Um, so some of you, this is like a full a foresight. This is warning for you. Do not partner up with someone in April or do not partner up with an entity in April because it's going to lead to some type of loss for you in September where you will find yourself having to kind of pinch pennies. This is basically you like being able to pay the bills but not having much money to do any type of recreational activity, kind of even feed yourself. So absolutely be cautious not to overspend just because you have a lot of money coming in does not mean you should be spending loosely uh spend wisely and cautiously um this whole mindset of trying to keep up with the jones or the johnsons we need to let go of that mindset nobody gives a crap what they have in their house what you have in your house is what you're supposed to have okay so be cautious of the partnerships you're forming be cautious of what you're spending money on so you don't end up in this a uh, 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 scenario in September where you're kind of having to pinch spinning really, uh, really uh, closely, having to budget really tightly and things like that. Um, I see someone here too that may be dealing with some type of greed. Is that someone has a lot of money that they could be able to share with other people, but someone hoards a lot of money. They are like a hoarder, very possessive of wealth. Someone is afraid of. And it could be this king of pentacles, whoever that is. Someone is afraid of going back to where they used to be. So they hoard money a lot. Okay. So even though they don't need to, like someone is like someone has a lot of money. And this is someone specific. You have a lot of money, but you are a hoarder. Like you will rather wear the same shirt over and over and over where it has holes and things in it. That's just an example I'm using where it has holes in it. The arm probably is like loose and hanging up now. You'll rather wear that shirt before going to go buy a new one. Like you, you don't want to buy a new shirt even though you need it. Or you don't want to buy new underwear even though you need it. And that's because you don't want to spend any money. Uh, someone is very greedy. I don't want to say greedy, but someone is a hoarder. And it's really horrible how much of a hoarder this person is. Okay. And it really just has to do with money. Someone lives like really below their means, which is good, but it's at a point where it's not really healthy. But then on the other side, we have people that don't really have financial security because they either made the bad move, partnering up with the wrong organization, the wrong person. Someone may have taken advantage of you in the past month. Maybe someone took advantage of you in April or you went to a gathering and you spent a little bit and you a little bit more than you should have you gave to the wrong people which is kind of reiterating the thing that i said be cautious of who you're giving to and things like that it looks like if you don't listen you're not going to end up in a really good predicament you're going to like some type of security and it's going to be in finances so be careful that is so crazy like whatever i was saying at the top is being corroborated at the bottom be absolutely cautious because I think there's something in the future where you want to commit to either another entity, another organization, or you want to give to someone else, but you won't be able to because you've kind of overextended yourself. So the month of September is a month of warning, caution, right? Be careful what you are investing your wealth and your emotions into basically okay you may find yourself being a little bit more protective of your heart just you overall because someone slimy may have either ended up taking advantage of you or stolen from you something like that uh maybe a business partnership that didn't work out because it turns out that that entity didn't have the same values as you did okay so just be very cautious about this in september not to partner up with 
the wrong people is what you are being advised okay now we are going to october okay oh boy so there's going to be some type of commitment that is extended to you someone that's very loyal and practical is going to want to invest in you or just have some type of commitment with you and this could be in business i'm getting more so of a business thing um there's going to be some type of turnaround as well so whereas in the past maybe you and this person had some type of chance to be together whether in business or in a relationship and things didn't work out it looks like this person is going to be coming back around um to give you a solid commitment because whatever they offer you in the past was not something that was worth your time or it was not going to lead to anything but I think by October, you will know if this person is worth your time, if this entity is worth your time. So the commitment that you choose to give will be something that's worthwhile, okay? The Knight of Pentacles are people that, you know, they're, they're really solid, but in order for them to give to you, they have to really think about it. It can take them years to think about something, months to think about something before they end up extending an offer to you. But just know that when they do decide to give you an offer, it is something that is serious, something that's worthwhile, okay? They don't just give easily, okay? They can come across as stingy, but I don't think it's because they're stingy. I think it's more so they are very methodical. They think about everything. They say, if I do this, what's going to happen? How can I get myself out of that if it's not something good? They're very methodical. Everything is planned out step by step. They like to know what's up ahead of them. They don't like surprises, right? They don't like to invest in disappointments and things like that. So if someone is wanting to invest in you, then it's going to be something that's very worthwhile. It's something they've talked about. You are someone they've thought about. These are people that are very loyal. Commitment and loyalty are the biggest things to the Knight of Pentacles. So you best believe if someone like this is committing to you, then it is something that is solid for them. Uh, you may see this person as, I guess, not a king or emperor yet, but the commitment they are giving you is something they consider to be solid. Some, you are someone they care about. They're going to look out for you. These are people that come around to be very protective of you and things like that. Not in a, a, an unhealthy way, but in a way where you know that they care about you. This is like a long-term commitment, right? These types of people, they, are, they oftentimes tend to be a little bit more solid in life than they come across. Or they may come across as very stoic and things like that, but they're just like a big teddy, teddy bear at heart. You just kind of have to break the ice initially, okay? Uh, these are people very uh, uh, um, dependable, reliable. Uh, this is like someone you want to have in your corner. So you all could be receiving, some of you could be receiving some type of uh, commitment from this person or you could be the one giving the commitment to the other person. But it is something solid and you two will have to decide to commit to one another um, if you want whatever collaboration this is to work out, whether it's business or a, 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 a friendship or a romantic thing, wherever it is, you two will have to be on the same page because the Knight of Pentacles don't like to fool around. They don't want to give you loyalty and then you are not loyal because these are people, when they choose to be loyal to you, um, they will do it to their own detriment again because there is something that is so big to them. They don't take it loosely. And then I want us to notice here how in like uh, April, we see something not working out, like some type of offer to parties coming together and it's not working out. Uh, and then we have uh, the, the uh, month of October where someone is extending a genuine offer, a solid offer. So there's some type of turnaround in, ev in events, right? Things are being balanced out by October between you and this other person. You may have walked away, but this person is going to be coming back towards you. It's like maybe someone even gave their offer to the wrong person in the past and they're coming back around to you in order to give an offer to you because now they see you as someone that's worth their time and it's going to be up to you to decide if you want to be with this person and you that's giving the offer is going to be up to the person to decide if they want to work with you or be with you, something of that nature. Whatever, if this has to do with business, investments, and things like that, 
they are absolutely going to work out. You are investing into the right thing. So you can expect some type of positive return, good return, good ROI return on investment. So whatever you're going to be investing in is absolutely going to be worthwhile. And it's going to help you kind of uh, uh, propel your future into a new stage, a bountiful stage and things like that. As you can see, you have victory here. Awesome. Um, but you're going to be able to propel your future into a new stage where you're not really expecting things are going to be balanced out in your life and things of that nature so it's absolutely going to be a okay okay so october is looking promising as well uh some of you may be receiving some type of proposal from a, a masculine energy it could be a feminine energy the world we live in today you never know who's doing it anymore i would not be partaking as far as me proposing to a masculine over my dead body but you know to each its own I I'm just not part of that crowd. So anyways, October is looking beautiful and promising and solid, right? Great ROI, great uh, friendships, great business partnerships, things of that nature. Uh, very beautiful. We're going to go on and move on to November. And November looks like there are journeys, trips, and things going on. Um, some people could be going on the run for some of you. People did something that are not exactly the best of actions that they have they should have taken. So someone may be on the run. But we're going to keep this very uh, general and things of that nature. Um, so you could be traveling. Someone could be in a hurry to get to somewhere in uh, November, whether this is a trip where they're flying. But it's going to be something that's very, like, momentary like in a moment they'll decide i'm going to take this trip so they may be taking a trip to come out to see you you may be taking a trip to go out to see someone but it's going to be something where you decide it's like someone is going to say well yes i trust that this person has my best interest as heart at heart i trust that this person is someone that i want to work with and things are going to be beneficial with me working with them and you know someone instead of sitting back and wondering day and night should i work with this person should i give this person an offer should i I do this or i do that they're going to decide you know what i'm going for it and they're going to take a trip to come towards you so that you two can either heal things together move on to calmer waters and things of that nature you know kind of just leave the past in the past and i think this is what's holding and you please pay attention to this please pay attention to this this is here in may someone is traveling as well and then this is here in november they're traveling as well so someone is absolutely going to be traveling to another person this could be you collective or someone else they're going to be coming towards you so you two can heal things right so you may very well be aware of this person or you are not aware of this person they may have done something to you in the past that you are not aware of and they are coming in to heal things with you so hopefully you two can seal the karma waters someone may want to build a friendship with you or even build a business with you an empire with you things of that nature i'm going to check my camera to make sure it is still working yes it's still working let's keep it pushing so they may be coming in to build some type of new reality with you but they know that you two have some uh a closure that needs to take place you two have some healing that you need to do on both ends because when someone tells you what happened or what they did or something like that it's going to be really a big uh like a rude awakening for you but absolutely you're going to be a okay if you choose to move with this person in as far as moving forward some of you may decide to move to where this person live or they may choose to move to where you live right so regardless of the situation it looks like there's going to be some type of healing um not just in the physical not just emotionally but spiritually as well someone is going through a lot of healing someone is going through some type of awakening as well and i think you watch my channel you're going through like some type of huge awakening the things that you are hearing like through terror videos and on my channel are things that you are not accustomed to hearing they're like a whole different side of life that you are being open to and this is enabling you to go through some type of healing through some type of ascension and uh, hopefully we haven't scared you away um please if you are watching terror videos make sure that you are watching people that are genuine you don't want people that are just making up things as 
as they go. So wherever you're getting your information from, be sure that you are getting it from sources that are genuine and actually care about what they're doing. And I will advise you to study some metaphysical topics and things like that, you know, aura cleansing, divination, just so you understand what it is that they are talking about and know that they're talking about the right thing, okay? But there is some type of healing, some type of journey going on figuratively and literally um, like that. There's some type of transformation going on upstairs as well. As far as the mind said, this, people's minds are being like, uh, uh, um, how do I want to put this? Realign, right? Because as we grow older, like say, let's say, for example, those of us that went to public school, we were programmed to think and live a certain way. You know, we were supposed to go to school, finish school, get our nine to five, and then, and then what? We don't know, right? But we had some rule awakenings during, the, during that journey, right? We thought we were going to go to high school, finish high school, finish college, and then we we're going to get our dream job and things like that. But then when you come out of college, you realize that it's freaking hard to get a job um, because... One, there are people in companies that have been there for umpteenth year and they need to let go, but they won't let go because they're selfish. Or you don't have the experience to get the job, so no one wants to hire you. So you go have like a master's degree in science and you are, you know, hanging up clothes in Walmart. Is that making make sense? So we are not really prepped for anything in public school. Um, so when we do step out into the real life, Things are extremely difficult for us. We have a hard time adjusting and things like that. So someone is going through some type of uh, realignment mentally when it comes to spirituality and just how they think and carry themselves, what they believe in and things like that. Someone may be of a very religious background, has like a fixed mindset, and they are going through some type of healing, some type of ascension, elevation, awakening, something like that. And a lot of you may be going through this. And again, I advise you to make sure you are cautious of the uh, sources that you are getting information from. Unfortunately, some of my colleagues uh, on social platforms, they just do this for clout. They don't really care about people. They just care about the money. So you want to be you want to be cautious of who you're getting your information from, okay? And that's not to speak negatively of them. It's just, you just need to be mindful of who you're getting your information from, okay? So that is it for November. There's going to be healing, rec uh, re reconciliation, and things of, the, of that nature. A lot of transition, transformation, and things like that. You're going to be exiting some type of old paradigm and stepping into a new paradigm that's going to be very healing for you. You're going to be leaving a lot of old things behind you and old people. And I, and I don't mean like age wise. I just mean that people that are stuck in an old paradigm and do not want to let go. You're going to be leaving them behind so you can move forward into the new earth. Okay. So that is it for November. Let's go ahead and tackle December. So December looks that you are being advised to be logical. Be very strategic about how you handle certain matters in your life, especially when it comes to your business. Right. And I think I advised that earlier. Be my mindful of the people you partner up with and things like that. Even the people you're hiring for your business, be absolutely mindful of who you are hiring. You could have people around you with ulterior motive. Uh, you may just think that, oh, I'm, you know, doing really well. My business has taken off. I'm very successful. You know, you're working hard towards your future. You may just see it that way, but there could be people around you that are envious of you and think that you you, you see yourself to be better than them, but it's not that you see yourself to be better than them. It's that they see you to be better than them. So be cautious that there are not people around you trying to take you down, destroy your business, destroy you, take you down, and things of that nature. So be very strategic and logical with the things that you are tackling, all right? Any type of obstacle in your way or any type of, uh, uh, um, what do I want to say? Any type of plans you have, any type of goals aspirations you have be very strategic about how you approach those things right if you have people coming up against you i will be strategic on how to defeat them as well okay so don't just do anything by the wing the plan everything accordingly and then take the necessary steps to make sure that your victory is ensured and it looks that you are going to overcome your advisories and things like that um a lot of the times you know it's not us, it's them. People aren't willing to put in the energy 
to manifest the reality that they want, the lifestyles that they want, and then when they see the rest of us putting in those efforts and things like that, they take it personal. They think we think we're better than them, but we're not even thinking about these people. Most of the time, you don't even think about these people, but they're thinking of you. So they just assume that you're thinking of them, but it's like, that's not how it works. Like I'm worried about my business, how it's going to take off, how it's going to be successful, what I need to do to make sure it's successful and stay successful. That's the kind of stuff you, you're worried about, but that's not what these other people are worried about. Excuse me. <coughs> so, yeah. So, in um in December, you're just being advised to just be very logical with how you approach things. Uh, don't be impulsive. Um, don't just, you know, partake in any and everything. Be careful of the people you are hanging out with, the people you're calling friends and things of that nature. Uh, you could be doing, making some type of return. Some of you could be returning home or going somewhere you haven't been for a long time and people are going to be happy to see you. But there is going to be some type of turmoil going on in your camp, whether this is at work and your family and things like that. And this has to do with like jealousy and things like that. You are going to defeat your enemies in a way that they're not expecting you to. And this is going to cause a lot of animosity. You see yourself as someone that's forward moving, moving like myself here, or you see, see yourself as someone that's, you know, just doing the right thing so your future can be bright you can be successful people will see you as a narcissist or someone that's egotistical um but it's not that you are okay people just kind of need to realign readjust their mindset and see that you know just because you have hopes and dreams and ambitions ambitions for yourself does not mean that you are a narcissist um they just need to fix their mind so you're gonna have a lot of haters that will be watching you stalking you doing a whole lot of things from behind the scenes but i will let them do whatever it is that they want uh if it makes them happy we love it for them if they like it we love it let them be okay so that will be it for december let's go ahead and do january my worry january <laughs> so in january you are being advised to Take up some type of new course, step out into the world, experience new things. Maybe you're someone that's stuck in a little box. Get out of your box, get out of your bubble. I swear if I was around you and I had a needle, I would freaking pop your bubble. Get out of your bubble, expand your horizon, expand your mental. You may want to take up some courses as well to just, you know, broaden your knowledge of certain things. If you want to open your business, take the necessary courses that you need to open that business. If you want to work on a degree, associate's, bachelor's, master's, PhD, doctor, whatever it is you want to do, apply for school, take action, be proactive is what this car advises you to do. Be absolutely proactive in doing the things that you know are going to elevate you in life, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally and spiritually. We tend to neglect the spiritual side of us. No one is telling you to come out here and count crystals like myself here or to, you know, uh, uh Take cleansing baths every day like I do, okay? You are just being advised to embrace your spiritual side a little bit more, okay? Take the necessary education you need to take. I'm not saying like you have to go and pay for a 10-year degree or something. Find a technical school. Find some type of online program that you can do. Uh, do some self-education, right? Get online. Do research. Learn about crystals. Learn about aura and things like that. Uh, just And then I don't know why I'm being told to tell some of you. If someone tells you they can physically see auras, that's a lie. People can only see your aura in the dream state. I don't know why I'm being told to tell you all that, but that, that that's what that is. Um, so if you ever meet someone and say, oh, I can see your aura is purple. They're a freaking liar. You can only see aura in the dream state. Okay, let's, <laughs> why am I being told to tell you all that? Is someone telling someone that? More than likely they are. Let's get back to this read. Uh, for the month of January. Who? <laughs> In the waking state, you can feel people energy and things like that, but you're not going to see their aura physically. It's something that's spiritual, okay? Um, but in the month of January, you're just being advised to, you know, educate yourself, broaden your mindset, step out on faith, get out into the world, have these new experiences because you've been living a pretty boring routine, darling. And I'm included in here. For the past year or so, I've literally just been focused on work, school, 
kids like we go out to park to like the nature parks and things like that we go out to uh eat every blue moon i can't eat most of the stuff they eat, they eat because my stomach is very sensitive you know they like mcdonald's i have american children so they like mcdonald's burger kings and all of that and i can't eat a lot of those things so um oftentimes i'll just take them so they can get what they want and then i'll get like a mocha frappe or something um but as far as me like eating mcdonald's on a regular that cannot happen Happen because I get sick my stomach just it doesn't handle it very well however I can't eat Taco Bell so I will oftentimes you know sometimes just uh, um encourage them gently for us to go to Taco Bell uh, I'll suggest Taco Bell but my kids are very understanding um they know like what the other stuff does to me so a lot of the time I'll say hey you want to go get something to eat where do you want to go and my son who's very like protective <laughs> of me he'll be like we're going to Taco Bell and I'm like are you saying we're going to Taco Bell because he said yeah because you can't eat anything else so we're going to Taco Bell and I just think it's like, that's like the sweetest thing in the world that he's looking out for me at a young age but they just know nothing else is going, <laughs> is going to work <laughs> but just go out maybe i'm bringing up food because maybe you all need to try something new like go to different ethical ethnic uh restaurants and things like that right go to like i try indian food mexican i eat like from different cultures because i feel like culture is a beautiful thing and some of you need to you know open yourself to those types of things like just stop secluding yourself to just this one country in the world and this country you can kind of see it as to city right the mixing bowl right with all these different cultures you know go out experience these cultures experience the food the clothes the music i listen to all types of music the only music i cannot listen to is metal absolutely not you're not about to destroy my eardrum but i will listen to everything else from time to time um but just go out and expand your horizon you're seen as someone very intelligent so live as that be intelligent do the things that you know improve your mental right you're someone that may be a bit of a firecracker that's absolutely it okay people love having you on their team supporting them because they know that you are someone that's going to be with them till the end right you are a day one right you're a diehard supporter you're going to support people uh of course only if they are supporting you you stand up for the people that matter to you you are very loyal absolutely a beautiful person um worthwhile having on a team i'm going to open my window a little bit because um the sun went down a bit so absolutely you're someone very loyal someone very courageous you can be a little bit of, of a firecracker but that's okay there's nothing wrong with that um that's something that was put in you for a reason it's there for a reason just learn how to manage that energy so you're not misusing it okay so you're just being advised in january to just expand your knowledge right uh face your challenges with an uh, open mindset right don't shy away from anything don't let anyone instill any fear in you be cautious of the people coming towards you as well with, with nonsense tell them to cut that crap out you don't have time for it be alert and as, as well don't let anyone have you second guessing yourself Take charge of your energy and stand firm in it. That's what you're being advised to do. Now, we are in February, the last month of the year. We have the Five of Pentacles. Please do not be, you know, in distress because you see this card out here because of how we interpret it in our regular drama, dramatic readings and things like that. This does not have to do with you being in destitution and a uh, 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 deplority and things like that. What this card is telling you is that you are going to be having fresh new opportunities. New doors are going to be opening up for you. And that is because you've done all of this healing work. You've put in all of this effort. You've connected with the right people, rejected the wrong people, accepted the right collaborations and rejected the wrong collaborations. This is going to lead to you opening some type of new door, fresh new beginnings, boundless new beginnings for you right and this also has to do with the fact that you are doing the work you need to do to burden your mindset burden your knowledge expand your horizon this is going to lead to abundance for you lead to new opportunities for you new friendship new friendships new align uh new uh, uh 
alliances um, put you in alignment with certain opportunities and things of that nature. That is what this Five of Pentacles has to do with. Now, when we are doing our dramatic readings, obviously, we'll say someone is being left out in the cold. But what this is, is that you are stepping into new doors, stepping into new opportunities that you are not expecting. You may not know what to expect, but you are being challenged to open those doors and accept what is being given to you, um, right? Um, if there's a lesson to learn, learn the lesson boldly, right? Um, just take life one day at a time. Do not see this as something that's negative. It's not a negative thing when it's coming to you receiving advice and things like that. So when you go to like a tarot reader or a psychic and this car comes out, do not freak out. Like, oh, I'm going to lose everything. No, you're not going to lose everything. You have new opportunities coming towards you, darling. That's what that means. And you don't know what these these doors that are opening for you, you don't know what's on the other side. Uh, so that's where their uncertainty comes in. Uh, so just be mindful of that, right? Um, now, we're not saying you're not going to face any type of difficulties and things like that with this card out here, but it is your perspective and how you choose to align, how you choose to uh, approach those difficulties. Be resilient, basically, right? Stand your ground. If you choose an opportunity and it turns out that that is not the right opportunity for you, it's okay, right? Like Learn the lesson you're supposed to learn and move on. Go to the next door. There's always opportunities for you. And if there's not, then create opportunities for yourself. Start a small business. Go back to school. By going to school, you now have uh, um, added, added some type of value to yourself where you can go and apply to a new company that's going to value the skills and gifts that you have, the abilities that you can contribute to the company. So you always have to be in that mindset when something doesn't work with one situation that does not mean you not you now like throw in the tower and you're like oh my gosh they don't want to hire me they say I'm, they don't want to give me the job blah 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 that's not what that's supposed to that's not what's supposed to be going on it just means you were rejected here go to the next place that's how my mind works it's like you don't let's say for like relationships <laughs> i'm just saying that if someone decide they don't want to be with me when I was younger, it used to break my heart, but now my mindset is, oh, well, this is my ancestors protecting me from you. Thank you. Okay. Or even like in business, if someone does not want to work with me for whatever reason, a lot of the times it has to do with this. And honey, I don't have a problem with this. Thank you ancestors for this, by the way. But if someone does not want to work with me because I'm this, that is a compliment to me. I take it as, honey, I am too good to be around you anyways. Thank you, okay? Listen, I'm a handful. Whoever I end up with is going to have their hands full. Warning, sir, if you are watching me, warning. I'm, I can be a bit of a handful. But, you know, my intentions are pure. I don't have any ulterior motives for people. But that is basically what you are being advised. There could be an institution that you are leaving out in the cold that you need to leave out in the cold because this is not an institution with uh, good motives. You may have come into the know about this for some of you. You could be working for an institution that you need to separate yourself from. Like they're leaving you out in the cold. You may not know it as far as maybe underpaying you, not paying you the right wages, undercutting you, playing with your hours, something like that, right? Maybe you're being mistreated at a company. You're being advised to leave them out in the cold. Go find a new job, but do not, you know, quit that job and then you don't have anything to fall back on. Make sure while you are with that company, you find a new job. Give this one your two weeks notice. Do your two weeks and go here. If they're making things hard for you here where you're not able to finish your two weeks, you know, then leave. You've already found this one. Go ahead and start your new beginning. Do not let people trap you in your mind. From my spiritual journey in the last few years where I've actually been putting in effort to embrace this side of myself, I've realized that a lot of people are really just stuck in life because they let other people control them. People tell them what they can and cannot do. People set limitations for them and that's not how life is supposed to be. You are in charge of your own path of your own destiny. So you choose what you want to indulge in, what you don't want to. You choose what's fitting for you, what's not fitting for you. So don't let anyone tell you, oh, don't go to that company. You know, uh, I hear they have these kind of people there. Don't take that opportunity. I don't think it's the right thing for you. I didn't ask you what's right for me. 
and I didn't tell you what's right for you. So keep your opinion to yourself until I ask you for it, right? So please do not be disheartened when you see this card. It just means you have fresh new opportunities coming at you. You're not expecting these, and it's, uh, these opportunities could lead to you being, you know, coming out of the cold, coming out of some type of stagnation some type of loss and stepping into abundance okay so overall everything is a okay this sounds like a year that has a little bit of a, a down to it but everything else is looking positive for you it's just the, a matter of your perspective but anyways let's do our angel number i look forward to doing these every day uh oh uh oh uh oh Listen, I feel like you all get tired of me and my card issues by this time because this is like every video, isn't it? This is like every video. Like, sister, get, I, I know someone in someone is watching me. The girl, how many times are you going to do this? Like, get your, get your act together. Anyways, source, what is your advice? Okay. <laughs> advice to us. Sources, say, here you go. You don't have to ask. I tell you, three, 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 right? Six, work in progress, recovering, healing, you know, putting in the effort, things like that. Absolutely beautiful. Victory is yours, okay? So it said you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths, live your truths, and be a positive light to others. I am powerful. What a great way to end this read, honey. We will do this read again next year in March. Anyways, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye for now, my darlings.